something's happened. Well, get off a minute, for goodness sake. You might fall and mash me. With a budget of $13 million, The Ten Commandments stands as one of cinema's costly projects. Cecil B. DeMille helmed the 1956 epic and chose Anne Baxter for the pivotal role of Queen Nefertiri. Anne Baxter's portrayal, adorned in captivating costumes, including a noteworthy special bra, added to the allure of her character. Anne Baxter, initially fired from Broadway due to disapproval from Katharine Hepburn, eventually became a major Hollywood star. Baxter's acting in All About Eve led to an Oscar nomination, but internal competition and politics at 20th Century Fox ended her career with the studio. In the last picture show, Baxter's talent shines through as she portrays a complex character with depth and emotion, captivating audiences with her performance. Despite the challenges she faced in her career, Anne Baxter's legacy continues to live on in the world of cinema. Baxter prepared extensively for her role as Nefertiri, studying ancient Egyptian beauty techniques and seduction methods. The Ten Commandments featured complex visual effects, including animated pillars of fire and reverse footage to depict the parting of the Red Sea. The meticulous attention to detail in portraying Nefertiri's character added depth and authenticity to Baxter's performance. The intricate beauty rituals and seduction tactics she learned enhanced the portrayal of this iconic historical figure. The technical achievements in the Ten Commandments showcased the innovation and creativity of the filmmakers, pushing the boundaries of visual storytelling through advanced special effects. The combination of Baxter's dedication to her role and the groundbreaking visual effects in the film contributed to the enduring legacy of both her performance and the film itself. Filming for the movie involved extensive efforts focused on historical accuracy, particularly regarding the costumes and settings that filled the screen. While parts of the production occurred in the picturesque landscapes of Egypt, a significant portion took place on the Paramount lot. Cecil B. D. Mill was known for his meticulous attention to detail and demanding direction style, which was evident throughout the filming process. This was especially true during one of the more ambitious scenes, an elaborate orgy sequence, which took a remarkable three weeks to shoot. D. Mill's commitment to achieving authenticity in the visual presentation of the film reflected his passion for storytelling and of capturing the essence of the period being portrayed. The lengths to which he pushed his cast and crew were well known and have added to the film's legacy. The dedication shown in these productions helped cement DeMille's status as a key figure in Hollywood history, influencing how historical dramas are made even today. Thanks for the Dr. Pepper. Anne Baxter's personal life was marked by her marriages to John Hodiak, Randolph Galt, and David Klee. Tragically, David Klee passed away unexpectedly only nine months after their wedding. Anne Baxter, known for her roles in The Ten Commandments and other Hollywood classics, died from a brain aneurysm in 1985. Her legacy continues to be celebrated in the film industry, leaving behind a rich history of memorable performances. She turn your head. Uh, she's prettier. I, I guess I shouldn't have, though. The Last Picture Show, a film from 1971, had a significant impact and left a lasting legacy in the world of cinema. It is still relevant today because of its realistic portrayal of small town life and universal themes that resonate with audiences across generations. The movie, directed by Peter Bogdanovich, captures the struggles and emotions of young people coming of age in a changing world. Its raw and honest storytelling, engaging characters, and timeless cinematography continue to captivate viewers and inspire filmmakers. The themes of love, loss, friendship, and the passage of time explored in the movie remain relatable and thought-provoking, making the last picture show a classic that endures through the years. My folks are watching me. They know I don't want to go to college. They might think we're going to run off and get married. During the casting process of the 1971 movie The Last Picture Show, each key actor was carefully chosen for their role through a series of auditions, chemistry tests, and pivotal moments that defined the casting. Insights into the auditions reveal that the directors searched extensively for actors who could embody the complex characters of the film. Chemistry tests played a crucial role in determining how well actors interacted with one another on screen, ensuring a believable dynamic between characters. Key actors were selected based on their ability to bring depth 
and authenticity to their roles, capturing the essence of the characters they portrayed. Pivotal moments in the casting process involved standout performances during auditions that resonated with the directors and producers, ultimately leading to their selection for the film. The meticulous casting process resulted in a talented ensemble cast that brought the last picture show to life on the big screen with nuance and skill. The directorial vision behind the 1971 movie The Last Picture Show was to capture the essence of small-town life in a nostalgic and poignant way. The director aimed to bring out the raw emotions and struggles of the characters through a realistic lens. Influenced by classic American cinema, the director incorporated a gritty and authentic style, emphasizing the unvarnished truth of human experiences. Collaborating closely with the cast and crew, the director encouraged improvisation and natural performances to enhance the film's authenticity. This collaborative approach helped create a compelling and emotionally resonant story that stands the test of time. Now all the, neighbors in her block have all heard things you see. the production of the 1971 movie The Last Picture Show saw meticulous attention to set design, capturing the essence of a small Texas town in the 1950s. Filmed in black and white to evoke a sense of nostalgia, the locations used added authenticity to the film. The challenges of filming in a small town included limited resources and dealing with unpredictable weather. Despite these obstacles, the crew managed to create a visually stunning portrayal of a bygone era. Innovative techniques such as natural lighting and detailed period props were employed to enhance the movie's realism. The musical score and soundtrack of the 1971 movie The Last Picture Show were essential in enhancing the narrative and emotional depth of the film. Composed by renowned musician Hank Williams, the music beautifully captured the nostalgic and melancholic atmosphere of small-town life portrayed in the movie. With its haunting melodies and evocative themes, the score served to underscore the characters' struggles and relationships, adding a layer of poignancy to the storytelling. Williams' poignant compositions resonated with audiences, elevating the viewing experience and immersing them deeper into the world of The Last Picture Show. The music truly served as a powerful emotional anchor, enhancing the drama and pathos of this classic film. Anniversary. <sighs> That's the way you feel about it, I'd just soon break up. Visually, the use of black and white cinematography in The Last Picture Show adds a haunting quality to the story deepening the sense of nostalgia and loss. Director Peter Bogdanovich skillfully frames each scene, capturing the stark beauty of the Texas landscape and the lonely confines of a small town. The opening sequence, featuring the local pool hall, serves as an introduction to the characters and their relationships, with a camera lingering on their expressions, revealing unspoken thoughts and emotions. The performances by actors like Timothy Bottoms and Jeff Bridges are raw, and authentic, showcasing the struggles of youth in a fading community. The poignant scene where the characters gather in the diner while strained conversations unfold highlights their dissatisfaction and desires. Commentary from Bogdanovich reflects a deep understanding of adolescent turmoil as he amplifies the emotional weight through effective pacing and minimal dialogue. The impact of these moments lingers, allowing the audience to feel the heartbreak and disillusionment of youth in a changing world. The Last Picture Show, a 1971 movie, had a significant cultural and social impact. It resonated with audiences by portraying a bleak and realistic depiction of small-town life, capturing the struggles and complexities of the human experience. The film's raw portrayal of characters navigating personal and societal challenges struck a chord with viewers, sparking discussions about loneliness, identity, and the passage of time. The Last Picture Show influenced pop culture by setting a new standard for coming-of-age films, inspiring future filmmakers to explore similar themes with honesty and depth. Its influence can be seen in the way subsequent movies approach storytelling and character development. The Last Picture Show also contributed to conversations on gender roles, sexuality, and societal norms, challenging viewers to reflect on the evolving values of American society during the early 1970s. The film's blend of nostalgia and melancholy left a lasting impression on audiences, making it a classic in American cinema that continues to spark reflection 
and dialogue on a range of social and cultural issues. Everybody know about that. Of course. Sound like a good deal to me, kiddo. Shouldn't let Jay... The 1971 movie The Last Picture Show received widespread critical acclaim upon its release. Critics praised its realistic portrayal of small-town life and the coming-of-age story it presented. Audience reactions were also positive, with many viewers appreciating the film's depth and emotional impact. The movie received several awards and nominations, including two Academy Awards for Best Supporting Actor and Best Supporting Actress. These accolades recognized the outstanding performances of the cast and the film's overall quality. For those involved in the film, these awards and positive reviews meant validation and recognition for their hard work and talent. Winning prestigious awards like an Oscar can significantly boost a filmmaker's career and open up new opportunities in the industry. The critical acclaim and audience appreciation also solidify the legacy of the last picture show as a classic in cinematic history. During the filming of the last picture show, the cast and crew faced challenges due to the intense weather conditions in the small Texas town where the movie was shot. The actors had to endure scorching heat and dusty winds, which added to the authenticity of the film's setting, but made filming physically demanding. Despite these challenges, the camaraderie among the cast members helped them bond and support each other through the tough shoot. Additionally, director Peter Bogdanovich's attention to detail and dedication to capturing the essence of the novel, the film was based on created a focused and inspiring atmosphere on set. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes offer a glimpse into the hard work and passion that went into creating this iconic movie. And it had some dates when Charlie went for basketball practice. And... Oh, Delilah, will you bring the coffee, too? Yes, Mr. Banks. When they went... The Last Picture Show, a 1971 movie, holds a significant place in film history for its realistic portrayal of small-town life in Texas. Its black-and-white cinematography and raw storytelling set it apart. This film influenced future filmmakers by showcasing the power of intimate storytelling and character-driven narratives over flashy visuals. Its impact can be seen in works that prioritize nuanced characters and authentic settings over grandeur. The last picture shows legacy lives on in films that aim to capture the essence of ordinary lives with honesty and depth. Uh, yes, everybody did. Well, I'll tell you, it was different with me, sonny. Fellow movie enthusiasts, we invite you to share your personal tales and reflections on the 1971 classic, The Last Picture Show. How did this film touch your heart or shape your cinematic viewpoint? Your narratives can inspire others and foster a vibrant community of film aficionados. Let's engage, connect, and enrich our collective love for the magic of cinema. Your voice matters, so hit that like button, spread the word, and subscribe for more captivating cinematic journeys. So tonight in this old heap of junk, <laughs> uh, reckon the town get along without us too.